What's the crack? How are you? Uh, WWE superstar and SmackDown Women's Champion Becky Lynch right here in Penn State University State College about to go out. Um, I will have my championship with me. Roll in some questions, people. Um, as you can, as you've seen on SmackDown last week, a big contract signing. First time I'm going to be defending the championship. My prized possession, my precious, if you will, um, against Alexa Bliss. Alexa and I go way back, but in a couple of weeks, I know Mercy. That woman better wake up if she thinks she's going to take my championship from me. I have worked my entire life from this. This is my crowning jewel. This is my joy. No hope. No hope, Alexa. You better bliss off if you think you're going to take the championship from me. But anyway, any questions? Bring them in to me. Uh, so on SmackDown Live, you said that you weren't born to be champion. Can you explain? I wasn't born to be champion. Who was born to be champion? Come on, people. Who was born to be champion? Nobody's born to be champion. You don't wake up with a, with a, with a title championship around your waist. No, nobody's born to be champion. You've got to work for it. You've got to put in the sweat, the blood, the tears, the hours, the waking up. You know, when you don't want to. You've got you to gotta, you gotta push yourself when you, when you don't want to run that extra mile. You've got to tape up them ankles. You've got to stitch up them skirts. You know, you've got to keep going, keep moving. Nobody's born to be champion. You've got to work to be champion. And that's what I did. I fought to be champion. So this week we've been seeing on social media, uh, there's a photo floating around of you and, uh, you and uh, Charlotte, rather, the Raw Women's Champion. Uh, one of our viewers here would like to know if there any chance you might face her in a unification match down the road. Ooh, 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 ooh. That would be interesting. I would love to. That would be a dream match right there. But I don't know that uh, I don't know that we're ready to un unify any of the championships. You know, this is a standalone. This is the prize possession. You know, we don't want to to unify this with any other championship because it's just it's just too good by itself. Uh, how long have you dreamed of being the WWE SmackDown Live Women's Champion? Well, as soon as it was announced. <laughs> you know? Um, can't really dream about something that doesn't exist. Well, no, yes, you can. What am I talking about? Of course you can. Yeah, but I've always wanted to be uh, the Women's Champion. So, um, whether it's, it's SmackDown, whether it's Raw, whatever brand it was going to be, I always wanted to be the champion. I wanted to, to be the best, and this is, this, is, uh, this is a symbol of being the best. Sure, and then uh, tonight we have uh, Sasha, Bailey, and Charlotte in a triple threat match for the Raw Women's Championship. Any predictions there on who might walk away with the gold tonight? I've got to say, my prediction, Charlotte, you know, she's a crafty one. She's, she's held that championship for a long time, and there's a reason. So I don't think she's going to be uh, defeated just yet. Um, she always has something up her sleeve. You know, I've, I've witnessed that first hand. There's always something. So you can never underestimate her. I, I'm going to say that Charlotte's going to walk out with the gold. Uh, how do you feel about your upcoming match with Alexa? Do you think uh, it's going to be a hard go? Or is she are you um, a little bit of an afterthought? No, definitely not an afterthought. Alexa is definitely not an afterthought. You know, we've just seen the tip of the iceberg with her. And she is. She's, she's small, but she's fierce. She is dynamite. But like I've said before, dynamite is nothing without straight fire to light it um, I think when you underestimate people that's, that's when you make mistakes that's when you take it handy you can't underestimate anybody ever in this game you always got to be the hardest worker in the room and that's what I am and uh, Luke wants to know what happens uh, where does your career go if you do lose that women's championship if you, if you are unsuccessful on if I'm unsuccessful then I just brush myself off and get back to work you know um, Failure doesn't doesn't scare me. I've I've made all the mistakes. I've I've lost at all the big ones. That's not a worry. And and if 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 you're not scared to fail, then the possibilities are endless. Uh, we got a viewer here who wants to know if you and Seamus hang out. Is there any uh, Irish bond there between you and Seamus? Oh, absolutely. He's my boy. Um, both the Irish lads, Finn Balor and and Seamus. Um. You probably wouldn't be able to understand what we're saying to each other because we talk so fast and we talk in, in lingo that um, might be foreign. But uh, yeah, there's, there's always that Irish bond. Uh, as a huge role model for so many people, 
What's your proudest achievement for WWE or just life in general? Boom, there this, it is. right there, right there. Uh, would it be crazy for you to dye your hair blue now? Antoine wants to know. For the SmackDown Live. Ooh, Colors. good, good point. Um, I don't know, I think, I think, well, like that, that blue heat, you know, when a flame is so hot that it's blue, I guess that could be the thing, but uh, I feel like orange just goes with, with my whole persona, with the fire. Uh, a. Bloom says, as an Irish lass that went to college in Chicago, do you consider any area to be home turf? What's your favorite ring in the United States to compete in? Put me on the spot there. That's a tough one. You know, I love Philadelphia. There's something about Philly. I, uh, maybe it's because I'm Becky Balboa. I don't know. <laughs> but uh, every time I'm, I'm in Philly, I kind of get that, you know, that, that rocky feeling that just amps me up a little bit. That might be one of my favorites. But there's so many great towns, and I love New York, and I love California, and I love... I love everywhere. I love America. Uh, favorite Rocky movie? Uh, Rocky won the original. It's got to be. Hands down. 1976. A little grittier than the, uh, yes. than the sequels? Yeah. That's not my favorite. Yeah. I just love the original. Uh, Chris Callis says, marry me. I'm not sure that that'll be happening, but we can give him a shout out here. <laughs> hey, what's up, Chris? Um, Seth Rollins or Kevin Owens? As in, who do I think is going to win? Yeah, who do you think is going to win? Who deserves to be the uh, the face of Raw? I love them both. You really put me on the spot here. They're two of my, two of my favorite wrestlers, two of my favorite lads. Um, I'm going to go with Kevin on this one. Just because I was happy to see him win it, and uh, I want to see him hold it for a little bit. I remember one day, not too long ago, we were we were both sitting and catering, and uh, I can't remember what I was talking to him, but he, would, uh, you know, I think it was one of those days I lost another match, and I was just like, you know, Kevin, what do I gotta do? You know, and blah 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 blah. I'm like I'm trying here, and he was like, you just you 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 keep your head on your shoulders, Susan, because we're gonna be the champions. We're gonna be the ones that run this place. Uh, how do you feel about being in a video game? Have you ever created yourself in a video game prior to uh, to being in one? Or oh, of course I have. And then um, it was on my my list of goals that I wanted to achieve was was have an action figure and then be a uh, playable video game character. And both of those things have have happened this year. Oh, and be in WrestleMania. Oh, and win the championship. I know I keep going on about. It. I'm sorry. Let me know when it gets old. Um, but um. Yeah, so, so it's fantastic. It's amazing. I can't wait to play uh, 2K17. Uh, so with Life on the Road, do you have any guilty pleasures? Maybe food-wise? Is there a snack that you gravitate towards that you have to try to stay away from? Uh, that I have to stay away from? Well, our wonderful social media person behind the camera right now always gets the best snacks. And he gets these bags of granola, and I love granola. And so it's really hard for me to keep my hand out of there. I love granola. Or rice cakes, and he gets the different flavored ones. And then there's the chocolate rice cakes, you know, with the little chocolate chips. And then there's the caramel rice cakes. And then there's the apple cinnamon ones, which a lot of the guys like, and they like to put peanut butter on them. I'm not that big into the apple cinnamon ones. But the chocolate and then the... Um, the caramel one, and apparently there's a new brown sugar cinnamon one, just to let you know, just in case you see that on your travels. Definitely keep that, uh, keep that in mind next time I'm <laughs> grabbing snacks. Um, we've got a Elizabeth here, she wants to know how difficult was it for you to make the transition from being in Ireland to moving to America? Um, you know, so it actually wasn't that difficult, just because I moved away from home when I was 18, um, to Canada and uh, so I and and then from Canada then I lived in LA for a little bit and I went to the New Japan Dojo and I was there with Finn Balor, Carl Anderson and uh, TJ Perkins who's now the Cruiserweight Champion and um, so so it's cool that we've all all come up together and, and we're all in the same spot at the same time um, but and then I was there and then I uh, lived in Orlando for a little while doing a personal training course when I was 19 then I was a bartender in New York for a little bit. Then I was in Chicago going to college and working there for a little bit. So um, I've, I've been accustomed to, to coming to America and living here for a while. So it wasn't, it wasn't that, that hard. Look. Okay, I think we have time for just a couple more okay. questions. Uh, the user here who wants to know, Cena, Ambrose, 
or AJ Styles for the face of SmackDown Live? Who should your male counterpart be? Uh, AJ. The blue, blue brand. AJ? AJ. The champ that runs the camp and the champ that puns the camp. You know, it goes hand in hand. Awesome. Um, we have time for maybe just one more. Uh, any thoughts about an opponent who might be next in line after Alexa? Anyone who you're scouting on the SmackDown Live women's roster? Ooh, all of them. You know, they're all amazing contenders. Um, I've faced Natty. I've been beaten by Natty. I've beaten Natty. Um, I would love. I'd love to go up against Nikki. Um, she's been through a lot lately, you know, and coming back. Um, her story is complete inspiration. When she was here before, we never really got to go one on one. So um, I, I would love to have that match. Amazing, Becky. Thank you for your time. Thank WWE you. Universe thanks you, and uh, good luck with your match tonight. Thank you so much. You all been straight fire.